the Cayenne may be giving Porsche India the numbers and the Panamera marries performance and luxury like no other. But at the very heart and soul of Porsche is their sports cars. Little reason then that the 911 continues to be such an epic car even 40 years after the first one came out. But there is one more model within Porsche's stable that's close to achieving epic status now. That's the Boxster. The third generation of the Boxster is out now. It's headed to India. We're here in sunny California to find out just how good it is. Peel away the martini livery on our test car and you get a Boxster that seems more grown up in its appearance. The lines are crisper and there's a certain hardness and purpose to the design. It looks part Carrera GT and part 918 Spider, which can only be a good thing. With its vertically stacked elements in the headlights, distinctive air vents and that rear wing integrated into the tail lamps, the new Boxster looks really striking. With more aluminium in its body, it's also lighter than its predecessor and also sits on a longer wheelbase. However, the body is stiffer than before and as I found out later in the day, the soft top is the only thing soft about this car. The cabin is much better too, with all the quality you could expect from a German car. There are lots of buttons on the dashboard giving you the feel of being in a cockpit, but the buttons that matter are for the sport mode, which make throttle responses even more direct. The seats are very comfy too, which is just as well, because the Boxster is an absolute blast to drive, and you just don't want to leave the wheel. It's a 3.4 litre direct injection flat 6 motor and is the same that is found on the 911 Carrera. It's good for 311 bhp and gives the Boxster S a power to weight ratio of 230 bhp per ton. Now the part of California we in has a very strict 55 mile per hour speed limit that's less than 100 kilometers an hour so you can sense that I'm a bit disappointed I can't really push this car hard but you know given the well behaved driving I've been doing it has surprised me let's say I'm at 30 I want to go to 45 miles an hour that's that's nothing but just hear how the engine sound changes So that should give you an idea of what this car is really capable of. Uh, the engine has brilliant power delivery. It's nice even when you're driving slow, which is something you can't really say about all sports cars. Um, you know, Porsche has really, really done it well. I did sneak in a quick run or two later in the day and the engine really blew me away with its enthusiasm to spin and hunt for that 7800 rpm red line. The PDK or double clutch gearbox in Porsche speak is super quick too, though I wish our test car came with the optional paddle shifters. The shift buttons on the steering wheel weren't the most intuitive. For hardcore drivers though, there will also be a 6-speed manual. Apart from the engine, the new Boxster also shares its front suspension with the 911. But perhaps the more contentious piece of 911 on the Boxster is its electromechanical steering. There's been a lot of talk of uh, how possibly the electromechanical steering, which is more efficient, would have diluted how the Boxster drives. Well, it really doesn't. It feels awesome. It offers spectacular feel. Sure, it isn't as direct as I'd have liked, but it more than gets the job done. To improve traction, Porsche has tagged Porsche top vectoring onto the rear wheels and the center of gravity is marginally lower too. Then, of course, it's the rest of the handling is down to the mid-engine layout, there's lots of grip, traction is great, so you know, it's, it's a really fantastic car to drive. And the fun thing is you don't need to really drive it fast to have a blast. That'll be helpful in India. 
The ride is a bit harsh, but well, at the end of the day, this is a sports car. I certainly wasn't complaining. I was absolutely hooked. California didn't disappoint on the weather front and the Boxster didn't disappoint as a car. It's a proper mid-engine sports car in its own right and it's good enough to actually step out of the 911's shadow. It's got a brilliant engine, it's got supremely agile handling which you'll really love. It's comfortable too. The best bit though is that, like the old Boxster, it'll be cheaper than the 911. So, if you're in the market for a sports car, you could actually think of this as a bargain buy.